Oh my god, I just realized I'm recording. Take a good look at the faces of these two teens, Amina and Sarah Saeed, and consider how their lives ended on New Year's Day in 2008. Do you see any defects here? See daylight coming through? I see six holes. It's the jacket Sarah wore that night, and the tank top. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole. How many gunshot wounds did um, Sarah Saeed have total? Nine. One of her chest wounds indicating just how close the gun was. The suit soot had been driven inside her body. Their father, Yasser Saeed, looking away as prosecutors showed the jury pictures of their wounds. Amina shot two times. Three are photographs that were taken at the time. Testimony showing enough blood filled her chest cavity to fill three 20 ounce water bottles. It was fatal because of the bleeding out. Special agent for the public corruption unit. On Friday, jurors heard how members of their father's family helped him elude capture. In 2017, a maintenance worker spotted Yasser Saeed at an apartment rented by his son, Islam. Shortly after the apartment incident in Bedford, um, I learned that Islam Saeed uh, discontinued the use of his cell phone. Islam left the country days later. Authorities found eyeglasses with Yasser Saeed's DNA on them just outside the apartment. The manhunt lasted 12 years before ending at a home in Justin belonging to Yasser's relatives. The, the defendant came out and uh, surrendered. Yasser Saeed may have looked away from the pictures of his girls' bodies Friday, but the jury surely didn't. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.